What's going on? Super giant live. What? What's happening? Hello? Hades 2 uh, features an all new protagonist. This is Malinoe, the princess of the underworld. Um, Hades 2 is a direct sequel to the original game, but uh, requires no, just like the original game, requires no prior knowledge of anything, no prior knowledge of Greek myth. Ready, set. Few tales are told of Hades, whose reign as grim lord of the dead came to a sudden end when all at once his past caught up with him. But gods do not go quietly and history repeats. So this tale was only a matter of time. Death to Kronos. Death to Kronos. Say it with me, chat. All right, so the Death movement actually feels family. the same. It actually looks more fluid to me in person, aside from the live stream itself. Well, yeah, that, yeah, my camera's kind of big. Yeah, the uh, the health and the mana bar are actually very, very big. Right? So this is the basic attack button. That's the X button. So if you just tap X, this is the combo that comes up when playing with controller. Just to kind of go over, you do start with the staff, just like we saw. If you hold it down, so I can't, I can't let go of that early, it looks. Oh, so you have to actually make it fully charged. It costs 20 mana if you watch the icon over the top. In order, if you let go early, it just cancels it. If you can, it'll allow you to start charging even if you don't have enough magic, but you can kind of dash out of it. You do only have one dash to start. If you hold down the dash button afterwards, you do get a sprint. That's the special, which looks like a cast, interestingly, but that's the cast, is the circle summon. Now, can we look at exactly what these do with this particular weapon? It doesn't look that way. Do they all deal damage, too? Restore mana. There you go. So each attack, you still have attack special and cast, but each one has an omega form if you hold it down. Uh, each one independently. So we already saw the one for the attack, which is the line attack. Holding down the special, you can hold it down for a long time and wait. And you can send a big orb that explodes. Cost 10 mana. Holding down the cast, you can kind of move as you go a little bit. And that does that. Okay. Dash attack. Yes. Kind of. It looks like there is. It feels like the dash is on a slightly longer cooldown, though. Dash cast. It's the same, really. It doesn't look like... Mel slows down just for the briefest moment when using the cast it doesn't seem to matter there is like a cooldown of the cast so you can't have more than one circle at a time you can't really animation cancel the special it looks by dashing soon afterwards as far as i can tell like you can see there's a delay hmm okay interesting Shall we? I'll make the Titan pay. Probably just going to use the basic attack very often. You can bring the circle down while the enemies come in. It's locking them in place. Is that all the circle does? I kind of couldn't really tell prior to this. That's sort of like a thug. They have like a big long opener for their attack. I know I haven't really used the mana yet. I totally whiffed. Ah, oh, it didn't whiff! I assume you get full mana back afterwards. Apollo! Is anything too loud, chat, or are we okay? Just a spell. It's just another spell. Ten words. In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. Music a little loud, yeah. During combat. Well met there, sunshine. 
Look, we can't get to the Titan, but if you truly mean to stop him, then the least I can do is light your way down. Your attacks deal more damage in a larger area, plus 40% more damage. So we kind of saw... It, we saw a few gods uh, from their live stream, and Apollo seemed to have a pretty high percentage compared to the others that you saw. Your sprint is faster and inflicts daze on nearby foes. Daze is a curse. Afflicted foes have a 20% chance to deal no damage, and that uh, lasts for 9 seconds. I do wonder if, like, does it get used up if they miss an attack, or how does that work exactly? Lucid gain while standing in your cast, gradually restore magic. Plus 12 per second. So if we stay within it, why don't we just stick with the normal attack for the moment, right? They need my aid. Let's see if I need this. So Ash seems to be like the most important resource while, uh, oh wow, look at the area. Oh, I didn't charge it up all the way. It auto uses it at the end of it. Ah, so I, I'm letting I'm trying to let go early as if I'm using like a bow attack when I don't need to. You can still stagger enemies like normal too. I'll need these soon enough. I'll take some mole. So that's one of the herbs. Okay, inventory you can look here. I think this is gonna be really e interesting. So you got the greeneries and then you got the reagents here, right? Mostly used for unlocking ar arcana cards. Mostly used with incantations involving dispelling and nullification. It's very lengthy there. But we'll see more of that later. There's a lot of slots there, so it could be that their resource management is going to be even bigger, honestly, at this point. You know what I mean? Museus! Thank you for the four entire years. Let's get more Ash, because we kind of got to see that Ash is going to be more important in terms of a meta resource right now than anything else. There we go. Big attack. I definitely have, am not used to using the sprint button yet. I can't tell if that circle's dealing any damage or not. Tier list soon? Yeah, incoming tier list. The best buttons in Hades 2. Demeter? Sure. Full mana back each room? Yep. Probably should not be wasting it on these little enemies. Since right now we don't have a good way to get mana back. Get rid of the little guys. The line effect means like big brain stuff really in some ways. Okay, we're good. The sigil of frost. Said mistress told me so much about you. And now at last we meet. In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. You look just like your mother. I'll not lose her again. I shall freeze hell in its entirety if that is what it takes to get her back. You'll help me, won't you, granddaughter? I guess to recap, in case you missed it, we did see this dialogue already. Uh, from watching the super giant live stream but they're insinuating that not just Hades has been captured by Kronos or by someone at least but also Persephone and later on we'll find out that Zag is apparently lumped in there too believe it or not Lost Boy Cal what's up thank you so much for the resubs yo Cal six more months thank you so much your special deals more damage and inflicts freeze plus 40 percent freeze is a bit different now it's a curse. Afflicted foes are stopped for two seconds, can be reapplied after 10 seconds. So that's a special core boon, so to speak. Your cast repeatedly deal damage in the area and inflict freeze. Cast damage 10. So it was dealing nothing before. Huh. Tranquil gain after remaining inactive for one second. Rapidly restore mana until you act. Plus 25 every second. So it would allow us to kind of stay out of range and just spam the line move in some way, right? Let's see if let's see what that looks like. 
feel free to let me know if it if that's bad. Otherwise, uh, chat has to go in the locker. Put you underground, chat. I'm kind of liking the idea of the cast, because throwing down the circle seems kind of useful, and it's kind of easy to do. And then after that, we're kind of just using the attack. Blocking the time, though? The time isn't important right now. You could go for Tranquil Gain, which sounds like an interesting combination, but let's try this out. You just want Poseidon, because we don't have enough money to really buy anything, most likely. I might die, though, I guess. Jeffro, thank you so much for the 16 months. Sprint! I did take a hit. No hit, run over. I killed the, uh, the vine. Seems pretty predictable after that. Oh shit, what happened? Oh, because I didn't have enough mana. Did I not get rooted? I really thought I would have. Okay. Foul spirit. Very good, chat. Very good. You're one of my father's brothers, aren't you? Then help him. In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. <laughs> Niece, you live. We thought you lived the same fate as your father and your mother and your brother. Oh. Well, how about we turn the tide and exact terrible revenge for poor old Hades and his kin? I feel like I still want to turn that up. Like the the dialogue is still kind of quiet, right, Chant? Your special your specials hit foes with a splash that knocks others away. I liked the look of that quite a bit. Honestly. Splash damage is 30. It's it's an on-hit effect more similar to Zeus from Hades 1, it looks. But I don't know if I really want to start using the special on top of the attack already. I'd rather focus in. Your sprint deals more deals damage on impact and knocks foes away, but uses 5 mana per hit. I keep saying mana, it's magic. After you strike foes with your weapon, a spirit bubble may appear. Okay, 12% chance. A spirit bubble, you can't see it because of my head. Restores 20 magic when you touch it, expires when used, or after 30 seconds. I don't really like the sound of that. I don't feel like that sounds that good. The breaker sprint, like 120 sounds like a lot. Honestly. That's a lot. I feel like that's a lot. Your sprint deals damage in, on impact and knocks those away, but uses 5 mana per hit. It's risky. It's risky, though, obviously. Running into enemies? I'm more scared about that than the, the mana it would cost. Personally. We'll take the Spirit Bubble, even though I don't love the sound of it. Anything else to see in this little room? So, many bosses down. Do we have any region at this point? We do not. Oh, I got the bubble. Oh, okay. That was easy, actually. It, we kind of got attracted to it. Damn, okay. <laughs> I love these little guys. Aren't they the cutest? Okay. More dash. We have not seen Hecate yet, because we have not gone back to the house yet. I think, um, so we have 15 ash, but again, we saw them in the live stream. They needed a lot of ash, and they didn't need a lot of that, uh, right away. Wailers. There's that bubble, but the bubble kind of scared me. 12%, but it feels like we're getting it surprisingly often, I gotta say. Oh shit, I didn't have the mana for that? Really? Okay.
Okay. A gift. All right. Nothing to see here, it looks. Obel's uh, got a bit of a revamp. Yeah, the Obel's actually match. I'm going to guess that this is actually a placeholder icon. I actually did notice this uh, during their live stream, which is that the icons don't really fit the door for some of them. Like the palm kind of, it it's not at the right angle, right? It doesn't have the same 3D effect. The Obel does. So they're probably going to redo this later on uh, to make it match the door. A lot of the icons uh, aren't totally fitting quite yet. What do you think? Palm on the attack? I think palm on the attack. Yeah, so this is probably just a placeholder for the, for early access for now, if I were to guess. Reuse assets! I don't have any mana for a uh, range here. It's interesting that even our basic attack has sort of a ranged form now. I mean, it does cost magic. But it definitely allows for some interesting uh, thoughts and combinations there. I like the freeze effect a lot. It feels very powerful. Okay, so you can up the attack percentage 10% more. Hmm. The cast ring deals five more or up the chance of getting a spirit bubble. It's probably just the attack, right? I'm going to say. Yeah, definitely. Nothing else is that big. Still if we could, well if we can make the, the freeze effect more powerful, that'd be interesting. This increases our max mana we saw. It doesn't seem like palming is a big deal here now. After we got that one palm on our boons, on our attack, I don't know if it's going to be that meaningful to get another one. Assumingly, we're going to have the same diminishing returns effect, right? It feels fucking smooth, baby. This this is buttery smooth. It feels completely natural. If you're curious, just like, what is the instinct and first impression here? It feels like... First of all, I'm really thankful that this game isn't an exact replica of the first one. Oh. You know what I mean? As someone who played it enough, we'll say. Uh, oh god, you have a double hit. But it feels amazing so far. Obviously, the Omega attacks have a bit of risk behind them. Because you have to, like, uh, stand in place to play them. But it feels great so far. Ma max mana go up. We have $157. We're just going to take more Ash for now. Down to 12, though. It feels like exactly how you'd hope, I would say. In terms of just, like, gameplay feel. I kind of forgot that you have a double. Is it just because you're armored or... Oh, that's a wall. There's a fish! I think. <gasps> I have max mana. I think that's a fish. Can we go fishing? <gasps> Can't recover here. Need to press on. It made a face at me. Okay. I don't know. Does can we guess what the four is in the top left? Erebus gloom surrounding aura typical for this place. Look for moles in your surroundings. Number of boons? Unless they're counting Erebus Gloom. It's kind of odd, right? Yeah, amount of boons. It's kind of an odd thing to, threw, to throw in there, to be honest. To have visible at all times? I wonder if it might kind of mean something. It's not chamber number. I was I, That's what I thought it was at first. You can pin it. Interesting. So in the middle of the run, you can do that. Huh. That is fascinating. No, I think of it 21 months. Yeah, I guess I, I'm going to guess it's number of boons as well, but it's also counting. Can't seem to go back now. The Erebus gloom thing, the passive thing that we have there. 
Yeah, maybe it's counting the palm. Did it go up because of the palm? So I think we go to the shop to see if we can recover some health here. Assumably, this is the shop before the boss if it acts like Hades 1. We saw a shop offered at one point, but we skipped it. That breathing. We did get some health. I guess we can take that in the max mana. We're at the boss chat. Already. Charon has placeholder art. I'm in your debt, Lord Charon. These provisions surely shall make all the difference in my task. What gold I find is yours. Why is gold capitalized? Wait, do they not use the term obols anymore? Huh. There. Didn't get much. They changed it to gold? Huh, I might have missed that. What does this icon represent, I wonder? Different currency, I guess. They said Kronos changed it. Headmistress. Oh, you have to fight Hecate to start. You reached the edge of Erebus already. You have surpassed my expectations, Melenaway. Melenaway. I'm gonna struggle with that. I'm gonna be honest. Arcadia, thank you for the 25 months. John Cena, thank you for the 24 months. Melenaway. Ab mommy's here. Thank you, Headmistress Hecate, for all your guidance and the compliment. In my place, you'd have done the same. However, now is not the time for pleasantries. It is for a demonstration of your capability. My capability? You'd have us face each other here, even though my task has already begun. Your training shall never be complete. And I would know if you stand any chance at all against our enemy. Crossed flames awaken. You have to dash? Oh, shit! Ah, oh, I took a hit. Big hit, too. What? Run. There's more than one. So she fires waves, usually two at a time. I think they might bounce back. I missed. Oh shit. No mana. Oh my god, they, they were so kind to me with that iframe. Phase. Oh, shit. Oh no, the circles now. Oh, you have to kill all the ads first, it looks. Oh, jeez, that hit me? No. Oh, this is different now. <laughs> wow. Wow, that is fucking amazing. That is absolutely amazing, isn't it? That is absolutely amazing. That was badass. Back I love already. it. Holy shit. Damn it. Mods report a bug. For some reason, I, I took a death there. Clearly not uh, an intended consequence of playing the game. You know? Doesn't really make sense for the rest of it. Uh, go ahead and submit that, please. Confide. See what I get for staying out all night, Freenos. I feel like the animation looks smoother. I don't know if it's like a higher frame rate or what or what, but everything about it, like Mel, also, I feel like she has more angles too, is the best way I can describe it. Like you can actually see her lean into running in circles here a little bit. I feel like it looks way smoother, looks way better than the animations for Hades 1 so far in terms of the character. 
This old unfinished painting. Don't look away. Don't forget all that the Titan took from you. Oh. Oh. Thought I had to do a thing. Who is Babby? That's that's uh that's her. So that's Zag, that's Persephone, and that's Hades. So the assumption is that Hades and Persephone had another baby, and that is Mel. Zag was there for it. Now, as to what happened exactly to those three after the fact and why Mel is still here, we still don't know. We still don't know, chat. Yeah, they've already mentioned Mel, uh, uh, Zag. They've mentioned Mel's brother. I guess they didn't name Zagreus, but it's pretty clear since Mel calls Hades' father that, you know, Zagreus is going to be her brother. I think we can say pretty safely. Who dares disturb my eternal rest? You trifle with powers far beyond your comprehension, witch. Speak. That was pretty decent, right, Mel? That may be pushing it. Okay, if I call you witch like that. I feel like that sounds like the same voice as who plays Meg. Uh, kind of like that, that raspy vocal fry at the end. I don't know why I care so much about finding out who, who does the voice, but... Which worked for me in context. And a solid haunting all in all, Dora. But I'd better run. Something I have to do. Then be gone. Can you salute? Can't salute yet. We're gonna take our time. Stand We're gonna soak it all in no chat. Weakness. I'm in no rush. We got weeks with the playtest here. Hi, Mommy. I'm four-star hand, Melinoi. Nary a soul expected you to slay our enemy last night on a new moon, no less. But you accomplished something of great import. Is it possible... So they're call they call this place the Crossroads, which of the Crossroads, right? Is this potentially sticks in a way? And it's not necessarily the surface? An in, in between place. plays? Mm, there's lots of still- there's lots of landmarks still. I lack such forgiveness for my failure at Mistress Hecate. He called it Erebus? I think Erebus is where we go when we leave the crossroads here. What is it I accomplished? Unless this is still technically in Erebus. As far as I understand, they, it, it seems like the first area where you do combat is Erebus. I wouldn't necessarily say that... I mean, well, the thing is, the motif here is the same with the Swampland, right? So maybe it is still, like, Erebus. You're here to speak of it. Recovered in body, if not in spirit. Listen, if not failed. The tools had merely begun. Already and Hades Thus, may you now learn, Hades too grow is stronger, here, it is and also complete your time. task. Death to Kronos. Death to Kronos. Are we the baddies? Death to Kronos. Can I salute? We can. Be well, headmistress. What's up, Forgetty? And you, Melinoi. This cauldron's filthy still, alas. But there's something at our altar you may use. And I've unsealed the silver pool as well. And cock. It's being purified. So I guess they just make you wait a couple runs. That's probably all there is to that. If I were to guess. Tough times. Already hit a wall. Knocked your scrawny ass all the way back here. It's insane that she's sending you out on foot all on your own. Your skepticism's duly noted. The crossroads. That haven hidden twixt the surface and the underworld conceals those still loyal to Lord Hades, rightful ruler of the dead. Huh. That's actually kind of a big a big detail, I think. So it's between the surface and the underworld somewhere. Right? Those to loyal to Lord Hades are concealed here. Together we'll retake my father's realm. Interesting. I wonder what uh, part Odysseus is going to play here. Maybe just, you know, character lore and stuff. Tell me you killed the bastard. Drove your staff into his wretched skulls with a dagger in his gut. Eh, not that he'd die from that. Works on mortals, though. Odysseus is mortal, right? I have nothing to report, Odysseus. Not yet. Well, you'll get him next time, I reckon. I mean, I didn't even see Kronos, dude. Death I wasn't even Kronos, close. Sir. He'll get his. What is this? Is that a dog? 
There's a ferret too. Treat. Hi gang. Headmistress must have some important tasks for you. They're not animated, though. So. Yeah, no Cerberus yet. <laughs> Hypno's got the that Alucard drip nowadays, you know what I'm saying? We'll find a way to wake you oh sleep. I promise. So Hypnos is back in sleeping bag slash hammock form. Apparently asleep and unable to awaken. And that's all there is to the crossroads, it looks. Well, uh, we still have this stuff. Use the altar to grow stronger so you can walk right through it. For some reason, it almost looks like that you didn't necessarily walk over it. When I was watching them uh, play themselves. Had mistress lent me the arcana. Lent me the arcana. What do they call this? You have the means to use arcana cards. Each one you activate makes you stronger in unique ways. Select a revealed card to permanently unlock it. Okay. I tried to like exit to read the exact title again. It's arcana altar, right? It's interesting that they warn you like, no, don't do that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, so this is going to be the equivalent of the mirror. While you channel your Omega moves, so that's when you hold down either attack, special, or cast, everything moves slower for two seconds. So we have to unlock it to unveil the other cards anyway. And I was mentioning this. It looks like you can have only so many Arcana cards uh, active at once because see the 0 out of 10 in the top right? It should go up by one we when we turn this on. The Sorceress. Because that costs one hand. Some of these uh, have cost more than one hand as well. Interestingly, you cannot upgrade this any further, it looks, after you unlock it. At least not yet. Maybe that's just for the technical test, or maybe more happens later on. I'm not really sure. It is really interesting, though. After you... So we have... This costs three Astro Unlock. We, still, we have 24, so we have quite a bit. After you exit a location, restore to health, or twice that if you have no more than 30% of your health. Blaze, what's up? Thank you for the 46 months. The wayward son. So we're definitely going to get that one. That only costs one hand, too. I mean, we probably don't have to worry about that quite yet. Deal plus 20% damage to foes in your cast. Gain 20 health and 20 magic. We do have enough to buy that, and it's pretty good, right? While you have less than 100% magic, your attack and special deal plus 30% damage. Now, I gotta wonder, for the, ter for the terminology here... Kind of sounds like, do you think this would affect Omega moves too? I would have think so. I would think so. Even though it doesn't spe specify it. It's kind of like uh, the difference between attacks and like dash strikes, I guess, in Hades, right? That'd be, I would imagine that this would also affect the Omega strikes is what I'm saying. Yeah, it looks like you can deactivate. You can just turn it off. Yep. The Sorceress. So this is going to be interesting in the sense that they're only going to let you spend 10 hands. Maybe you can unlock the ability to use more. But you're going to have to choose wisely which cards you have, or it's going to depend on your weapon, your build, etc., 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 right? All we need is Ash right now. That's the only thing we can do. We can't do anything to upgrade these any further at the moment. So I really want the plus health. The I think we can say, right? This costs five hands, whatever it is. Restore two mana every one second. We don't have enough ash for that. Set forth each night with one death defiance. When you fall to zero, automatically restore 40% of your health and magic. Limited uses per night. So, what did they call them? Attempts. They called them escape attempts in Hades 1. Now they call them nights, interestingly. Um... I guess they can't use the term escape attempt. I guess they could have just called them attempts, though, right? So I'm glad we got the Titan, I think we can say. I'm kind of thinking we do the Huntress after that. While you have less than 100% magic, your attack and special deal 30% more. I think I like it. The Huntress. Even though we don't get any further here, we could have unlocked that. Or actually, we still can. Yeah, okay, we'll get both then. It's cheap. The Furies. Your sprint is 20% faster. That one I don't really love the sound of, and I probably won't spend ash on it that soon. But we're already at 9 out of 10 hands, so we'd have to deactivate something to activate, say, the Death Defiance. 
So that's going to be interesting where if I want a death defiance, I'm going to have to turn some stuff off. I guess like the Huntress maybe. Interesting, huh? Huh? Because that, that's quite limited early on. Kind of a charm oh, system. Yeah. The Greege. What do you think? New keepsake cabinet when we actually get one? Relax? The task comes fast. We're not allowed to relax, chat. Rise and grind. Get that hustle out. So, okay. Here we go. So, assumedly, these are the different weapon slots, right? We only have the staff right now. I'm actually not sure on the exact uh, title for the staff here. But it looks to me there's going to be six different games. And it doesn't seem likely that they would go beyond the six at a glance. Although there is whatever is going on right here. Maybe this is how you interact and change aspects or whatever terminology they're going to use for that. So we can probably extrapolate that there's going to be at least six weapons, right? Oh, this one was the tools. Is that what it was? Okay. At least six weapons. I mean, they got six slots, so it seems to make sense. The arms of night are now at my disposal. So now you can look at the or sister blades. Soon enough. And it's called the Witch's Staff. Sister blades. The sister blades, limb and oros, serve the unseen and are never separated. Okay, they just don't really put it right there. Okay. Witch's Staff. Descura, also called the Staff of Dusk, grows stronger in obscurity. Strike with a quick close-range attack or long-range specials and Omega moves. Slash with furious attacks or strike from far from afar with a flurry of specials. Okay. Unfortunately, we cannot Much play. Just this staff bathing in there. Disciples, attention! Allay your fears. She has returned. A battle lost. But this is war, young one, and you have many battles yet to come. The only question is, are you prepared to win? I'm not so sure here, so let's see you give me 20. Give me 20. Skelly, well-decorated warrior. I mean, Skelemius! Commander Skelemius, sir. Disciples, watch and learn. Let me try the charge here. So this is like a a big exploding orb, but it's not a multi-hitter. Interestingly. Forgive me, sir. Does that complete some kind of quest or something? We can look up here. Death to Kronos. I'll see to that. No one is more prepared. Beyond the mists of Erebus, there should be a way down. Too risky heading through Elysium, and too risky to stay. So Elysium is too dangerous, I All guess? Right. it's time. Now, this is really interesting what we see here. I gotta say, it go up, question mark. I think that, that... Ugh, these blasted wards. ...is Jeez, really fascinating, and I'm very curious what that can mean. So, going down, so... I mean, the overall goal of the game seems to be you go down through the underworld to get the Kronos and beat them. What would the option of going up entail, I gotta wonder? It's very interesting, isn't it? I don't know if it's just gonna be an alternate path, alternate biome, or is it gonna be just, like, another kind of hub area with maybe, like, some mini games and other interactive stuff? Yeah. I don't know.